Situated in Bradenton, Florida, IMG Academy has produced some of the biggest names in tennis. Its alumni include Maria Sharapova, Anna Kornikova, Andre Agassi, Martina Hingis, Monica Seles, and Yelena Jankovic. Beginning with the Boletari tennis program founded by Nick Boletari, IMG Academy has been developing talent and honing the games of future champions in all sports from around the world for over three decades. We travel to the Sunshine State to meet up with one of the Academy's outstanding prospects, 14-year-old Michael Moe. I love like the atmosphere, like so many like players like they wanna become the best like I do and it's good because you really compete harder and uh, there's more uh, challenges. Michael arrived in Bradenton just over a year ago to pursue his ambitions of becoming a top-class tennis player. He started playing the game aged seven and it wasn't long before he achieved his first major success. Two years ago, Mo won the Orange Bowl, one of the biggest tournaments on the junior circuit outside the Grand Slams. At almost six foot two inches tall, Michael has used his height to great effect in the juniors. Already able to serve at speeds approaching 130 miles per hour, his athleticism has been compared to that of former French number one, Gaël Monfils. Ever since I started watching him play, I really like, liked him. And his personality is really good. He's a very funny guy. Because like the way I slide on the court and my like athletic ability. Sometimes I play like him when I'm on the defense. Michael trains under the watchful eye of David Red Amy, who has just started his 27th year coaching at the academy. David first started working with Mo 18 months ago when Michael would attend weekly camps at Bradenton. Amy reports his charges progress to Nick Boletari. He began full-time with us last year at IMG Academies. Academy, and Nick also works very closely as an integral part of our team with Michael. I run everything by Nick. Nick tells us what he sees, and we take it with Michael on a day-to-day -day basis and go through the operations of getting, working on weaknesses and full training. Michael's father, Tony Moe, was himself a pro on the ATP Tour in the 1980s. At his peak, he was ranked 105 in the world and also represented Nigeria at the 1988 Olympics. Michael appears to have the potential to far exceed his father's achievements. Having started the year ranked 680th in the world, Mo climbed 564 places to reach a career high of 116 in the International Tennis Federation's under-18 division. He also helped the United States team win its first ITF World Junior Championship since 2008. Michael's talent is phenom athletic ability. His ability to explode and get to balls, his ability to come forward at a quick seeing of the ball, his reaction time, it's one of his best strengths. Specifically on the court, he's got incredible power and it's not force power, it's just, it happens. The ball explodes off his racket. Michael's relaxed yet assured demeanor both on and off the court comes from a self-confidence that belies his age. Nobody's more aware of this than his Irish-born mother, Geraldine. I think Michael's pretty special, actually. Um, he's not like, you know, I'm a mum, and I think, but he's not like most kids. Um, very, very bright at school. He, you may think he's quiet. The teachers would always say to me, Michael's sort of quiet in class, however, he's a leader. Um, he will have all of the class rallying sort of around him is his personality. He's got a very strong personality. The first indications was his father came and told me he rolled a ball to him and he caught it kind of at ease and he said that this child is very smart. Explode up, meet in the middle, get your whole upper body up. All the way back Physical the conditioning is an integral part of Michael's daily routine. Building core strength is seen as essential to athletic development and the prevention of injury. 
Scott Gaddikan is the head of physical conditioning at ING Academy and oversees the physical and mental regimes designed to improve Michael's on-court performance. He's a really quiet kid, which is what I like. You know, he doesn't, he's a coachable kid. He doesn't say a whole lot. He just shuts up and work, which is great. Uh, he soaks everything in. Um, and he's just, he's very easy to work with. You know, he takes coaching cues very easily. Uh, he takes constructive criticism well. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to future sessions with him just because of how coachable that the kid is and um, how much progress he's made in such a short amount of time. ING Academy provides a comprehensive array of services designed to improve the athlete's life outside of sport as well as on the field of play. These services include an athletic and personal development program which is based on eight disciplines including life skills, leadership and vision training to improve hand-eye coordination. You've got the top professionals in the country all working in one place that are all the top of the top of the line professionals in their areas all in one place. And so it's your one stop shop for everything that you could need. So, I mean, you have no choice. You're, you're gonna get better. It's not an option. So um, everything that he could possibly want or need, it's, it's right here for him whenever. So it's, it's a very unique opportunity. Michael spent much of his childhood in Dubai and Saudi Arabia, and his love of sport became apparent early on. Having decided that tennis was the sport he wanted to pursue, he and his parents realized that in order for him to maximize his potential, a move back to America would be in Michael's best interests. It's the sport I chose and um, it's my favorite sport and I, like since, well, since when I was three, it was always my goal to be a tennis player and not to become a basketball player. So I've, I've always had more passion for doing good in tennis rather than doing good in other sports. Physically, you can like even compare the time when I wasn't here to what I'm doing right now because before I was playing maximum two hours a day, right now I'm playing five hours a day, maximum six. So um, yeah, it's just physically I'm like on a different level and uh, mentally I've gotten a lot tougher. In addition to his ability with a tennis racket, Mo also has an entrepreneurial spirit, which manifested itself at just 12 years old. As astute off the tennis court as he is on it, Michael developed a game for smartphones, which involves tapping falling snowflakes to make them disappear. I read a magazine, and it was talking about like some high school kid, he made like $30,000 in a month off a game. So, I want to do the same. However, it's on the tennis court that Michael promises to truly make his mark. Blessed with a huge serve, an imposing forehand, and a rapidly improving backhand, his rise up the rankings looks sure to continue. When I'm out on court, I, like I always want to get better. Yeah, I want to be the best in the world. And Michael specifically, his super competitiveness, his desire on a daily basis to go out and compete gives him a good chance to realize his dream.